second muscle in the quadriceps is the rectus femoris. This is a long, thin muscle. In fact, rectus means straight in Latin. And it is the most superficial muscle of the quadriceps group. It is different from all the other muscles. There's one important difference, and that is that the tendon, which is now covered by these two muscles, the tendon runs up and it actually attaches to the pelvis. All the other muscles attach to the femur, which is the long bone. So attaching to the pelvis, this muscle will now act on the hip joint. It runs down and it inserts into the top of the patella and it joins into this broad and complex tendon insertion into the patella from all the other muscles of the quadriceps. So when this muscle contracts, it will flex the leg at the hip, so it'll pull your leg up and it will straighten your knee out. The fact that the muscle runs across two joints makes it particularly vulnerable for injury and the movements that it makes, which is to flex the leg at the, at the hip and straighten the knee, are really important during walking. You can see as you swing your leg forward, you need to flex at the hip and then as your leg comes towards the end of the stepping out part of the gait cycle, your knee will swing through and that movement is a rectus femoris movement. So this muscle is really important during the gait cycle. It also acts together with all the other muscles of the quadriceps to straighten the knee. And that's really important if you want to kick a ball as you're squatting down, if you want to stand up, if you want to climb steps. Rectus femoris acts in with all the others to help that movement. Trigger points occur in two places in the rectus femoris, but the most important trigger point is right near the top. It's just here. And this is a most unusual trigger point. It is really worth remembering. And the reason is that it refers pain in a completely different place from where the trigger is. And the pain is felt here, in the knee. And you localize it just under the kneecap. Now this is a common knee pain. It's called anterior knee pain, which is front knee pain. And its common name is patellofemoral pain, which is the pain that occurs between the kneecap and the femur underneath. You localize it in the joint, but you know it's not way down in the joint. It's just under the kneecap. It's very common and it's a difficult pain to treat. One of the triggers that nobody thinks of is this one here. So front knee pain, look for that trigger. There is a second trigger which is down here and this trigger will refer pain right close to where it occurs. It's not as interesting or as tricky as the top trigger point.